when we heard that the Wick Road Library really was threatened with closure, I think we were shocked, really upset, because it's just been an important part of our lives for a long time. So that very evening, I went home. I thought, I've got to do something. I, I want to do something, but I don't really know how to start, because I'm not political. I don't get involved with any campaigning or do anything. <laughs> Well, it's, it's clear that there's um, a huge amount of support for Wick Road Library. And the frustrating thing is actually the numbers show that it's a very well-used library. So the council's decision to put it on the list for closure doesn't really make an awful lot of sense. Um, today's walk is about showing how much further people would have to travel if, if this library was closed and what a walk it would be and I think that would almost inevitably mean that particularly children in this area are less likely to make use of the library facilities. To get to the new proposed alternative would mean going up Talbot Hill, a substantial distance from where the Wick Road Library is. That would affect not just me in my mobility scooter, because the mobility scooter to go up Talbot Hill would be frankly dangerous and unsafe. To come down would be even more risky. If it's dangerous for someone in a mobility scooter, it would also be equally dangerous for a mother pushing a pushchair with perhaps a baby in the pushchair, perhaps a toddler as well. Well, it's been an absolutely fantastic day. It's passed all our expectations. We hoped we'd get maybe 30 people. You never know when you plan an event like this. We think there were in excess of 150 people, um, and that was fantastic. We had all sections of the community represented. We had children, we had older people, people with mobility difficulties. Not everybody completed the walk, but I guess that's what we're about showing, that it is difficult to get up Talbot Hill. It was an amazing atmosphere. Um, we had children who made their own banners, they bought whistles, they bought tambourines, so we attracted a lot of attention as we were going along the road. Um, and I really think and hope we've sent a message to Bristol City Council about how important Wick Road Library is and that we want to keep it. And we say, Bristol City Council, please listen to us. Please take into account the strength of feeling here today.